Now the first thing people think when reading the title is, I hate the 4th of July, I hate the day we got our independence. I would say, you know, I, I love America. I think I hit a certain age when I was little. By little, I mean a teenager. But, you know, growing up and I was like, you know what, through everything else, I, I love America. Whatever. On the 4th of July, <laughs> there will be moments where a certain thing happens and they're called fireworks. Fireworks, I despise fireworks. Just annoying thing they they shouldn't exist and i hate them despise them now <laughs> i also want to say for some reason here in arizona there will be people that launch fireworks nowhere near like for example someone launched fireworks june 28th since because someone doesn't get the days out i was like maybe it's july tomorrow but no no it wasn't july they just launched it because they just felt like it right like no no like like what, what was the celebration what was the celebration i don't mind it december 31st to january on like special occasions but the other reason why i don't like them is because they're loud had my thought if anyone else hated fireworks i'd look it up and people are like does anyone else find fireworks annoying and i'm like god there, there's others like me and there's someone that's like Ugh, i hate when people just say uh it wakes me up in the middle of the night right like as if people don't work overnight but the difference between working in the day there aren't fireworks going off in the day i could sleep in the day and sleep better than at night when there's no fireworks i'll have my headphones on and these headphones i have they're, they're soundproof and when i mean soundproof you, you could barely hear a thing right but when it comes to fireworks i don't know if it's i mean arizona houses are goddamn paper thin anyway but you can hear the fireworks they can be like a mile away and you can they sound in your ear through the headphones i'm awake i'm a light sleeper i i i would say i'm a little bit of a grinch people say i'm a grinch i don't like children screaming at night which i mean come on the the neighbors the, you see this town this town has terrible system neighbors they have like seven children they have seven children i swear to god i'm not even lying i wish i was you can tell the parents don't care because i'd be the exact same if i had that many children but like at that point just say you won't take care like because then you're disturbing the whole neighborhood it'll be 11 it'll be 10 they get homeschooled by the way i should mention that and you're wondering how do you know they get homeschooled because even during when school is out they'll be screaming and they, they aren't outside you know maybe playing a few screams every once in a while they scream 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 constant screaming and then it'll be nighttime like uh, paris it's 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 in the day bro you need to calm down you're gonna be a grinch you know but it's nighttime nighttime is my time if it's 10 or 11 i shouldn't have to hear that okay but back to the fourth of july fireworks disturb the whole neighborhood and everything right also where i live i don't know if it's the governor not the governor the town the mayor i don't even know <laughs> I'm getting a little heated. They have an event where they launch their fireworks. They'll call food trucks, they'll have like a band, and they'll launch fireworks from a distance. And that's the other thing. They'll launch it. I live like, so basically there's a lake in... Yeah, there's a lake, right? And that's where they have it, right? At that lake, that's where they do it. Where I live, it, it's like a few miles. They'll still launch fireworks farther away. They're loud because I can hear them from here. But I expect it, right? I'm, I'm not going to be like, even if I work, right? I'm not going to be like, oh, whatever. Oh my God, it's so annoying. You know, when I was working at Arby's, there was a day I worked on the 4th of July. I was driving home and we were really busy and I completely forgot. Hey, it's the 4th of July isn't it it's it's the fourth of july mm. people were pulled over on the side of the street it, it's it's a lake it's a pretty big lake but the lake itself everyone was around it everyone was sitting in it all the cars because people are too lazy to whoa um <laughs> all the cars were on the side of the road right when i was in high school it's it, we live in a small medium town and the people the government i want to say are so greedy they literally built a bunch of houses and this was also in the height of covid too well, not the height, like, like in the beginning and like last days, like build a bunch of houses, not think about having the right development for the town. They had to make another school like that, elementary through high school, because that's how unprepared they were. You know, like in college where you have to get ready to do classes and because it can get snaked. That's imagine having to do that in high school. You went to that high school, you might not go there again. Like I said, people would pull on the side of the road and they would just be sitting there trying to wait for the fireworks to launch, you know, May driving hell it's also where i live this place just sucks i'm sorry this town is awful people are on the side of the road and the roads here are so small it's a pain to drive especially in the neighborhood like hundreds i want to say a thousand but that might be dramatic hundreds fuck, oh of people in the streets and like literally i didn't know what was happening i didn't know what was happening 
I was literally at work all day and then at night I worked a little bit of overtime because that's how busy we were I, I'm driving home and I'm like I'm trying to follow the lights and the cops like no wait and he's like you can't go and I'm like what are you talking about they close off a road right they close off a whole road because it was deemed dangerous right it was deemed dangerous okay I, I don't know exactly I didn't know where to get home it, it then like once again I'm, I'm like trying to go because the lights green the cop tells me stop I stop and then he comes over to my window and he's like you can't go and I'm like and I was like I, I need to turn he's like well you can't you need to go straight and I'm like how do I get home then he's like I don't know and I'm like like what do you mean then the people are crossing you know and I'm like screw pedestrians I I was about to commit manslaughter anyway the people go they finally say I can go I'm driving and it starts raining and it didn't it didn't just like rain like you know a few drop it was pouring my car is an old car i'm not rich right i don't mind my car it works if a car works it works right sure it has its problems but whatever right the lights on my car are super dim probably super dangerous i want to i want to mention but they're super dim i could turn on the brights i still couldn't see anything and like i said there were cars all over the side of the road which was a safety hazard you people had to drive in the middle of the road because there were some morons that had their cars and then every time there was a car coming right you have to pull to the side park a little and then go again and do it over and over again right and then i don't know where i am i'm in a neighborhood that i don't know i was like i think 17 so i'm stressed i get sh i hate driving i don't really know ex what anxiety feels like but that's what i think anxiety feels like when i drive and i'm driving i can't see a thing like i said the lights are dim the wind i didn't my my windshield wipers they don't work on my car also i also want to mention which i completely forgot to mention there's no lights in the in the, in the town this is the outside real fast thank you for that this is the park this is the street but there's lights except for on the porches and if you're thinking that like the, the any of the other roads are different no it's, it's just always this dark but having cars on the side of the road to the point where you have to drive in the middle of the road where there's on oncoming traffic and like in go like that's ridiculous it's ridiculous don't know why this town has such a such a problem and i don't know how they don't regulate it i also have stigmas in my eyes is, is that is that stig stigmas I, I don't know exactly what it is for example lights look so much brighter to me and stuff like that they look insane to me so the water droplets and then oncoming traffic has had me stressed it had me stressed i call my mom and i'm like i'm like about to cry and i'm like mom i don't know how to get home i can't hear anything i can't see anything i'm in a neighborhood driving around and i somehow find the neighborhood through droplets that i i couldn't see a thing and i make it home and then you know of course the fireworks get delayed and it's like eventually super late and then they launch fireworks because of the, the rain and stuff and i just i just hate the fourth of july because Maybe not even people. If you want to launch fireworks on the 4th of July, then I don't care. Because it's the 4th of July. Hell yeah, celebrate it, right? But I honestly feel like the government, <laughs> sounds so dramatic, has ruined it for me. There'll be people that don't even live in our town and don't even live in the town next to us that will come into the area, which makes more cars. Like, there's already people in the area they're they're gonna go free fireworks buy some food good for the kids they're going to come and then more people are going to come i also want to mention i've went there maybe twice and i literally don't even celebrate the fourth of july because it's just such a pain literally the, the first year i went there it wasn't that busy the second year no i think we skipped we skipped like a year or two right and then the next time we went there it was so busy my cousin she got there and she had like a little blanket her kids were there and we got there and it was so busy and that's why i just hate the fourth of july because it's this town has terrible management honestly building so many houses not having the right like capabilities to provide for those houses jobs stuff like that